what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day a couple of days ago we talked about the incoming cmes not only one but two the secondary one being what's known as a cannibal cme when it sweeps up the the first cme in front of it they finally arrived they were they were 24 hours late they did impact the the magnetic shields of planet earth you can see over here my friend nelson jenks shared this with me and this is the magnetosphere as it was impacted by the dual cmes you can see the increase in activity there were auroras that i want to share with you guys they did believe it or not dip down into the the 39 degree north latitude look at the energy right here as it arrives swarming the earth right in here check it out right there's the arrival of the the first of two cmes interacting with the magnetic shields of earth creating a g3 geomagnetic storm and you can also confirm the arrival over here you can see the tall orange spike that's the energy from the the cmes also confirmed over here at spaceweather.com strong geomagnetic storm a g3 KP7, that is indeed a strong storm capable of producing auroras that again reached all the way down into Missouri. Gentlemen right here spotted red aurora in Missouri when they first arrived. Check this out. Multiple photos were sent in from the 19th and the 20th. Here's the, the person from Missouri. Check that out. Tyler Schlitt, April 19th, 2024, 4 a.m. That's when they first arrived. A little late, better late than never, producing auroras in Alaska, Southern Ireland, once again in Missouri, uh, Sweden, Slovenia, and in Australia. Photo here out of Australia by Michael. There they are, red and pink auroras. So once again, the cannibal CME did arrive. However, it was about 20 hours late. I wanted to share something with you guys that happened out here in Arizona. Uh, on the night of the 16th, apparently there was a meteor right above my location. Around 8 o'clock at night, it was visible from multiple states, California, Utah, of course Arizona, and over into southern Nevada. There's video footage of this meteor that again went right over our house. Check it out. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty good size one, lasted about three to four seconds, visible in multiple states. And there was a report over here in Southern California, check this out, Virginia D reported that the light of the fireball almost hit the ground. That's what it looked like over in Southern California. So dramatic meteor soars the skies out here in the desert Southwest. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. The next video, you're going to see some amazing footage of something large in the nighttime sky above Ohio. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.